had said no to Ekta for every show that she uh, offered me. Then then it became a joke later. Do you know that if Sakshi didn't say no, then it will be good. It will be good. Sometimes I grow a beard, sometimes I grow a moustache. <laughs> but still, Next I'll go Ganja. <laughs> Dangal did that for me that people started looking at me in different light and they thought okay uh, she's she can do something other than television also Hey everybody this is Aditi and you are watching me on E Times today I have two of the most amazingly talented personalities joining me whom I have looked up to and grown up watching so Sakshi and Vivek a huge welcome to E Times and we are so happy to have you joining with us today thank you Aditi thank, thank you, you so much you know I watched the first three episodes of my a huge congratulations for that and I'm absolutely hooked onto it it kept me on the edge and with that when I look at both of you and your screen presence I'm not going to lie you're full of revelations and surprises oh I'm glad you liked it Aditi thank you so much there's more yeah yeah i mean i would say you've seen three episodes the next three episodes as are, are something Never else something yeah else. exactly and so you know on that note i want to know from each of you what were the checkpoints you needed to be a part of the show given the fact that both of you have been the idol mom and dad on indian television that way so getting to portray another version of a mom uh yeah. you know something that i'd never done before although i have done mom roles all my life exactly uh Uh, this was a completely different shade and a completely different take mm-hmm. uh, um, on motherhood, um, keeping the universal thing of a mother-daughter love intact. Yeah, you know. So uh, that was the beauty of the character. Apart from that, I think everything uh, was a yes as far as I was concerned, because it, uh, uh, whether it was the platform being Netflix or the uh, producers being clean slate films they've done some great work in the past mm-hmm. uh, the creative team the showrunner um, atul mongia the directors atul sir and anshay sir both um, the cast yeah uh, i think each and every one uh, from the cast uh, was a great choice and was the right choice uh, uh, for the part and uh, of course the story Exactly. and the journey of the character is something that uh, made me say yes to the mm-hmm. uh, project what about you vivek netflix <laughs> first and foremost it was I netflix i think that excitement and then uh, there was obviously clean slate you know yeah um, anushka's production company which had done patal lok and all those yeah. shows and then obviously when i met atul mongia you know our shows creator you know the whole experience of you know uh, working with him with anshay was so good was so good and working with her was icing on the cake you know getting to do such lovely scenes with her mm-hmm. i just hope the audience enjoys the whole thing as much as i have enjoyed the the experience they surely will i have enjoyed watching it as an audience fingers crossed <laughs> <laughs> You know Sakshi I look at Sheel and I realize she's driven by three things first dealing with loss tied down by society and being an emotional protective mother how was it to explore all these emotions and put your best foot forward out there it was really really nice because uh, you know such kind of layering happens very rarely i mean you always get to see one predominant side of a character uh but with sheel you got to see her vulnerability her uh, weaknesses yeah. her shortcomings her strength her of course uh, uh, the way she is dealing with loss but at the same time she wants justice for exactly. her daughter um her uh, you know um, uncovering the truth accidentally falling into yeah. uh, that whole ugly mess, uh, mess she didn't have uh, which she wants to clear but unfortunately she is getting more and more you know sucked into it yeah. so it has been a great mix of emotions and if you've seen uh, episodes three episodes so you know that you know how the intensity is increasing with every single scene yeah. and the beauty is that i feel no two scenes are alike because uh, uh, the the circumstances are changing so fast she is unpredictable yeah that so that has been i think a great mix 
uh, for me and I've thoroughly enjoyed the process of discovering Sheel. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, while doing uh, the character, while portraying her, because for me also it was quite a revelation sometimes, you know, because there were scenes where I was thinking to do it in a certain manner because that's how I uh, thought that she must be thinking. But before the scene, uh, Atul sir and Anshya sir would come and say, no, 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 no. she's not thinking this. Okay. This is what she's thinking, you know. And this is the direction we want to move into. And I would say, uh, you know, and I, I was like completely taken aback with, the, with her thought process, mm -hmm. which does not match with mine anywhere mm -hmm. you know and uh, that was a great uh, experience and a great exercise also mm -hmm. because uh, very rarely you get to do this you know that with every scene you are uh, learning more and more about the character, uh, character yeah and uh, you are able to give it more true because uh, you are learning new uh, dimensions of the character and her thoughts true you know, the show also throws light on the mother-daughter relationship. And, you know, there are instances where we get to know that your daughter has been hesitant in opening up and things like that. So do you think a show like this can actually bridge that communication gap between mothers and daughters? I think it can at least start a, a dialogue about it, you know. Yeah. Uh, like, in uh, my the daughter is more comfortable sharing everything with the father. Yeah. And... Uh, because... Her father knew more. More, yeah. And that, you know, that's also like a shock to the mother because she says, Ki, maybe I was not a good mother. Yeah. I didn't know so much about my child. Although it's a very normal, ordinary household, a middle class family where you would expect that a daughter would share exactly. everything with the mother. So everything is not what it looks, looks like. like. Yeah, And I feel that's a beautiful layering that, uh, you know, the creators have done with each and every character. And it's it's not so plain and simple as it would look. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I feel Shield's whole world is revolving around that one line that you also uh, see in the tr uh, trailer where she says that, hum theek kar denge. Uh -huh. hum sab theek kar denge. So in her... Uh, you know, quest to do that, to make everything all right for everyone, she ends up doing so much more. Exactly. And as you will see, I mean, the rest of the episodes also, that um, you don't know how much she makes it right and how much she makes it wrong, but yeah. she just keeps getting more and more entangled in her own uh, web. Yeah. yeah. You know, Vivek, I look at Yash, he has a very different way of dealing with loss. You know, so does that so does that make your character less of a father, or how do you look at it? I think uh, I guess the families, you know, they have a tra tragedy or something. Everybody deals with it in a different way. Yeah. And uh, uh, so I guess you know he has his own. And in fact, mostly people are a little passive about things. You know, mm -hmm. the way we deal with, like, ham log in a way, the way I see this show is. You know, in newspapers, uh, we read about, you know, accidents that happen, you know, unfortunate things that happen to families. And it's just a small thing. And then how a family is, you know, trying to get justice for it and all. And here you actually get to see that whole journey of the, of you know, and how, but even within a family like that, everybody deals with it differently, with yeah. the loss. And uh, uh, so he has a, a more, you know, regular way of dealing with it. She has yeah. the more, uh, you know, the He's more... too expressive and... You are somewhere shut down. Yeah, she's the kind of person, yeah. the character that changes the system. Yeah. He's the one who probably just accepts submits jo hai, so hai, submits to it. You know, you have portrayed so many fathers on screen. So how do you ensure to differentiate and make each of these fathers stand out that way? Sometimes I grow a beard, sometimes I grow a moustache. <laughs> But still, Next, I'll go Ganja. <laughs> I have this question for both of you, Sakshi and Vivek. Out of all the actors of your time, both of you have somehow managed to stay relevant. How do you think that has happened? Because you are everywhere, all over. We see you quite often on screen and things like that. But actors of your times are not that visible that way. That should. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, huh, yeah. I think with me, I've just been lucky. Mm -hmm. Very honestly, because uh, there was never a thought or um, effort mm -hmm. uh, to be around for so long. True. 
for that matter when i had started i thought i'll be here for a year or so and then i'll go back to delhi but i think uh, destiny had other plans for me and i was really very fortunate to be at the right place mm-hmm. at the right time whether it was television or uh, now ott and uh, i i just have to thank my stars mm-hmm. for this and also for people for always uh, giving me uh, so much acceptance for whatever i did uh, so much love uh, for all my shows and all my work uh, it's because of that that i have been able to last here this long and uh, what else i think it's also uh, i would like to thank the makers that they could see me in uh, all different kind of roles and they trusted it in me mm-hmm. as an actor because otherwise on my own i think i would have just gone back home because i have said uh, no to so much work because uh, i felt ki nahi i have i want to go back to delhi or i have done enough but uh, they kept getting good roles to me that i could not say no to and that's the reason why i think that's i have here. been around for so glad long glad that you are here and oh no i i think i'm just too blessed thank you <laughs> what about you vivek i guess you know god is kind you know still around and working and i hope that uh, with the kind of uh, work that's happening on ott i hope this is the this could Beginning. be the start of a new career you know mm-hmm. well you know i mean the kind of now there are no rules you know there are no uh, rules in ott and i am very excited about the future mm-hmm. and uh, i just hope i keep repeating these you know experiences again and again you know you have a strong canvas of you know classic indian films and things like that so as an actor now that you have entered the ott space how are you reinventing yourself and keeping that originality of an actor intact actually this more original acting happening now than was happening earlier okay pehle thoda you know falseness hota tha thoda hero giri hoti thi rather than acting and so it's more real now the stories are main thing is the story the kind of scene that comes to you the kind of story that comes to you that decides the kind of performance you will do mm-hmm. you know and the stories are getting more real they are getting more uh, relatable true so you have to also perform now uh, in a way which is very real which is in a way you are unlearning you are unperforming pehle kya hota tha ki aapko acting karni padti thi ha ab jo ho raha hai aapko acting thodi bhi ki to ganda lagta hai camera mein thoda makeup zyada dikh gaya to ganda lagta hai camera mein you know ha. so especially with this this kind of a show my Yeah. as that uh, experience you know as an actor it's it's a it's a growth experience for me mm-hmm. i think i've grown uh, as an actor enriched myself as an actor in this uh, in this uh, project i'm so looking forward to see how your character unfolds in my so am i <laughs> you know sakshi i remember in one of the interviews ekta had shared that people were quick enough to type cast you as a mom or a wife and that actually worked for you to create an impact that way so d- did you ever feel the need to explore other strong women characters that way oh uh, actually i'll be very honest acting was nowhere on my mind to begin with okay so it was all very accidental so there was no plan or there was no uh, what you call uh, ambition mm-hmm. to be able to do it i i feel now i am more greedy to do different kind of roles that i was you know 20 years back at that time i was like i was not even sure ki mujhe ye karna hai ki nahi in fact i had said no to ekta for every show that she uh, offered me whether okay. it was kahani ghar ghar ki aur bade acche lagte and then it became a joke later you know ki okay. jaisa sakshi ne na bola hai Yeah. तो चलो अच्छा है आप मतलब अच्छा होगा कुछ सो आई डोंट नो बिकॉज दिस वॉज नॉट वॉट आई रियली वॉन्टेड टू डू इन लाइफ यू नो एंड इवन वेन इट हैपन आई थॉट इट्स हैपनिंग टू सम वन एल्स ओके एंड फॉर अ वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम इवन नाउ आई मीन इवन नाउ विद द काइंड ऑफ रिस्पॉन्स माई ट्रेलर इज गेटिंग एंड विद द बस दैट हैज बीन क्रिएटेड आई समटाइम्स फील दैट इट्स इट्स समबडी एल्स इज शो एंड यू नो इट्स ऑल हैपनिंग टू सम वन एल्स इट्स नॉट हैपनिंग टू मी आई एम आई एम नॉट अ पार्ट ऑफ इट इज इज जस्ट वेरी व्यूअर्ड बट आई एम बींग वेरी ऑनेस्ट विद द फीलिंग दैट आई गो थ्रू अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम्स सो uh that 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 fear was never there because i had not uh, stepped not out of the hu- yeah 
to do yeah. something like that mm. i did that for show and it uh, it took 8 uh, eight years yeah so before i realized i was already uh, you know known as that mother or that character yeah so uh, and then i was just sitting happily at home for uh, you know 2 3 years not doing anything because i was like abhi ho gaya bas ab aur kitna and then another show uh, was offered to me so it just kept happening by its own and i never thought and like you rightly said it worked for me yeah i somehow never uh, felt the need to do anything uh, mm-hmm. I, i just know that whenever i was doing even those characters i was uh, very honest about it mm-hmm. so uh, the scenes i gave my 100% to each and every scene mm-hmm. and that's the only thing that i was very very cautious about that i should not lie yeah. in my performance and that's the one thing that i keep in my mind even now and that's the only thing that honestly matters exactly. because if an actor uh, is lying uh, while doing a scene in performance then audience will always catch it true so apart from that i never thought that i don't want to do these characters and i want to change my image and all yeah. like but again like i i never thought i would get a my Mm-hmm. It's a mother's role, but it's such a different one. It's a different mother's role. So it role. it's happened. I I think uh, someone over there it's is a blessing. Yeah, yeah, is planning it for me, and I I I'm just following the instructions. And uh, yeah, one thing I do is that when things happen, I completely surrender. True. So I think okay. uh, that's what takes care of it. You know, when we saw you in Dangal, most of us anticipated that you take on Bollywood in full swing, but. was it a conscious choice to not be a part of it that way no, there was never a conscious cho- choice about ev- everything a- anything okay it uh, it happened i was very happy if it hadn't happened i don't know how life would be but yes i give it to dangal for the credibility it got me mm-hmm. because uh, uh, television actors are not really taken very seriously when it comes to uh, you know big roles or in other mediums so dangal did that for me that people started looking at me in different light and they thought okay uh, she's she can do something other than television also mm-hmm. and now with ott things have really changed yeah. and um, yeah i mean i'm happy with whatever offers i'm getting so we make one last thing i want to know from you and i'm being super frank about it whenever i see you on screen or when my parents you, you on screen you bring in so much credibility and trust with every role that you portray so you know is there a pressure to live up to it or i would you said it there will be pressure to live up to it but i'm yeah. so thankful for your kind words and uh, you know i just uh, i just do you know the best i can to a role and then it's for an audience to you know decide how good or mm-hmm. bad it is so i just uh, i just i just do the best i can at that moment i don't even watch my performances to be honest with you i never watch my performances in fact okay. i don't i don't even look at the monitor and don't watch the projects also most of the time i don't watch mm-hmm. a movie also you know और टेलीविजन तो मतलब अगर रात को घर में आते हैं शूटिंग करने के बाद अब वो शो चल रहा होता है आई एम ट्राइंग माय बेस्ट मुझे कैसे बिना देखे टीवी स्क्रीन में बेडरूम में चले जाओ यू नो काइंड ऑफ थिंग सो बट आई जस्ट आई जस्ट लर्न टू बी रियल इन द मोमेंट वाइल डूइंग द सीन एंड यू नो गॉड इज काइंड यू नो आई थिंक आई हैव इम्प्रूव एज एन एक्टर ओवर टाइम एंड आई होप आई गेट बेटर एंड बेटर I really look forward to see you guys more on the screen. So thank you so much Sakshi and Vivek for doing this with me. I had a great time chatting with you and I'm so so starstruck right now. <laughs> I am waiting for the entire episode entire show of my to come because it has just kept me on that hook and I'm waiting. So thank you so much for doing. Thank this. you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you.